Hey, what's going on, man? It's Roger over here, plumbing and HVAC SEO. All right, so you came to this video because you want to know how to grow your plumbing business with little money. All right. So, congratulations. You want to invest in your plumbing company. All right. And you're looking for little ways to promote. You're looking for you're looking for ways to, to get business without spending a lot of money on leads. Look, man. There's opportunities everywhere in plumbing, right? Plumbing and HVAC. Yeah, I got some hair on my face. There's opportunities all over the place, right? And there's so many ways you can you can market your business, right? You're looking for marketing tips and techniques, right? But for little money. First of all, what is little money? A little, a little bit of money is relative to, to everybody, right? $500 could be a little bit of money. A thousand dollars could be a little bit of money. Ten thousand can be a little bit of money, right? But I'm gonna take it as you just want to spend five hundred dollars or less per month for your plumbing business, right? To get to grow, and you want to take that five hundred and you want to keep flipping it, right? So you want so that five hundred dollars that 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 you invest in your plumbing company, it has to at least bring you a thousand dollars in profit talking about profit so fifteen hundred dollar jobs right so what kind of jobs do you want to focus on do you want to focus on residential do you want to focus on commercial right you cannot be like the plumbers out there i talk to a lot of plumbers and they be like look man i just want to do whatever <laughs> yeah i mean whatever pays wherever is that i'm there and that's good, man. You got a hustler mentality, man. You want to get the job done and you're willing to get dirty. You're willing to put in the work. You're willing to travel, right? You're willing to do whatever you got to do, whatever it takes to go get it done, right? And that's a beautiful thing. I'm not knocking that. But what exactly do you want to do? Do you want to do HVAC installations? Do you want to do hot water heater repair? Right? Do you want to fix the trench pipelines, right? What exactly do you specialize in? What do you specialize in? You want to work with, with contractors? Do you want to do commercial work, right? What do you want to specialize in, right? And that'll help narrow it down. That'll help narrow down your options, right? So you're not spread all over the place. What can you do? What can't you do? What don't you like doing? I mean, I know, I know you, I know you love plumbing, right? I don't know how you got into plumbing. Uh, maybe your uncle or, or or your dad was a plumber, right? I don't know how you got into it, but you're in it. But I know it's some things that you hate doing, right? Um, what jobs pay the most? Sub pumps, right? Um, I remember one time we had to spend five hundred dollars to fix our sub pump. The plumber might have been in there for two hours, right? He, 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 he brought the new sub pump, he fixed it, and he left. Boom, five, six hundred dollars. One time, the HVAC guy came to the crib and he, he charged us ninety dollars just to come out and look, right? And then it, it, it was another—I forget how much how much it cost—but he had to clean our HVAC unit. He was all dirty, and he made about three, four hundred dollars from that. Right? So it all depends, man. And look, that's from, from one person. But we had to go to a different... See, <laughs> we went to two different plumbers. See, the first plumber, he could have had us. We, we called him back, but something happened, something weird happened, right? Um, I don't know what happened to him, man. He disappeared, right? So so that's another thing. So we had to call somebody else. That's another thing. Your, your past clients, your previous people who you did work with, right? You might need to reactivate them, right? Um, we could do a client reactivation campaign. When's the last time you contacted your old clients, right? I'm pretty sure you got a database of your old clients that you've been dealing with, right? You should put them in an email software, put them in an SMS software, put them in a, we, we could run a Facebook campaign to target just them, right? And they'll see your work, they'll just see you, right? And hit them, boom, right? Let them know, yo, man, if, if you got any problems, here goes a $100 coupon. Here goes a $200 coupon. Here goes a free estimate, right? I know you don't want to travel out there for free, but if you're already there and you did a good job with them last time, look, it's cheaper to go after people who you already successfully did business with, right? Boom, that's it. Hit your head up your old clients. Uh, running ads on Facebook and running ads on SEO. 
advisor and whatever all, the, all, all these local home services ads, they're not cheap. You're not doing that with little money. Unless you know what you're doing. You could target some cheap keywords, right? And we can look at that for you. We can look at what's the cheapest keywords that's in your city, right? Some some keywords you can get for five cents, right? Some keywords you can get for really low, low, very low competition, right? And um, even on Microsoft, on Bing, a lot of people don't use Bing, but on Bing, if you get keywords for like five cents a piece, There's so much you can do, man, for little money. Um, of course, referrals, right? Referrals is free. Um, or you can supercharge your referrals and you can give people a referral fee. You know what I mean? Tell them, look, if, if, if you know anybody that needs some work done, I'll give you 150 bucks referral fee, right? You know, but you don't pay them until they, until they deliver somebody to you, right? You can have a whole bunch of referrals out there. You can network with other contractors. Um, there's just so many ways, man, for you to go out there and build your plumbing company with little money. It's infinite, man. But 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 what are you going to do, right? You got to start somewhere. Um, how's your website? When is the last time you updated your website? Um, I'm an SEO specialist, and I'm I'm heavy on websites, right? Um, I'm not the type of guy that's going to be cold calling. I don't think cold calling will work for plumbers. I mean, it might. It has a place, but nobody's going to be sitting around cold calling. You're not going to be passing on flyers, right? Your website should be optimized for what people are searching for in your area for plumbing services, right? Your Google My Business, is that optimized? Your social media, is that optimized, right? Can people find you easily if they know who you are? Can they find you? Right. If they don't know who you are and let's say they need a sump pump repair or a water heater or something with their septic tank or some kind of drain clogging. Can they find you? Can they find you easily? Right. And all that is for free. All that stuff is free, man. And getting on getting on the first page of Google is for free. Now, I don't, I don't know if you ever talked to an SEO company before or you probably watched a couple of videos about getting on the first page of Google. And they, they tell you that it takes months and months and months to get on the first page of Google. It doesn't take months. It doesn't take months to get on the first page of Google at all. Right? Um, we can get you on the first page of Google in, in less than seven days. 100% guarantee we can get you on the first page of Google in less than seven days. Right? So you contact me. Hit me a DM. Shoot me a DM. And uh, we can get you on there. So, so what we do, man, over here is I just help plumbers, man. Um, I just started my marketing agency for plumbers, uh, focusing 100% on plumbers. Uh, but just because I'm new, don't mean I don't have experience, right? I'm, I'm, I'm highly experienced in, in SEO and in marketing. But I just decided, you know, I'm going to work with plumbers. I was working with my story real quick just, just, just to give you... Um, just to give you a quick story about me. My niche before was barbers. I wanted to help barbers. I was helping barbers, but there's no money in barber. I mean, there's money in cutting your hair. Got to cut a lot of clients. And the barbers really, it couldn't justify my me charging what I got to charge for my services for barbers, right? Um, you know, I charge $500 to $1,000 a month for SEO services. For barbering, I would have to get to cover that. I would have to get them twenty clients a month. It it, it just done, it, it just didn't make no sense, right? But for plumbers, you know what I mean, so let's say if I get you five clients a month for a thousand bucks, right? You'll love that. I mean, you'll you'll make your you'll, you'll make your money back fast. I can make yeah, I can make plumbers their money back faster than I can do with barbers, right? Some of these jobs. You know, they, they pay big money, right? If I can get you 10 clients a month, if I get you 20 clients a month, right? You'll love me. You know what I mean? As, as far as barbers, if I get them 10 clients a month, nah, it's okay, right? That's only 300 bucks. For a plumber, one job could be three, $400. You know what I mean? It's a big difference, way big difference. Like I said, my sump pump was $500 to fix. And uh, hot water heater, you know, plumbers, they charge uh, HVAC, they charge $100 just, just to show up. <laughs> it 
anyway that's my story but look man my name is roger um if you need help if you want to just kick some ideas um look look shoot me a dm i'll put you on the first page of google for free just so i can show you what i did we can talk about some long-term strategies that'll help build and grow your plumbing business all right i'll see you later